Welcome back, trainers. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a Zekrom duo, multiple of those, and going over Mega Garchomp and Mega Rayquaza here. And their stats. Guys, this is happening. We can officially continue on and talk about Mega Evolutions. Now, credit to the creator of all of these stats. Really appreciate that. Somebody reached out to me and gave me the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and take a look at Garchomp here. Max EP, 4,540. Are you kidding me? Uh, and then stamina 217, attack 308, and defense 202. Now, I wanted to highlight Garchomp and Rayquaza because we're going to be using these, as well as a few other Pokemon, to duo the Zekrom here. But what you're going to see going up against a double electric type Zekrom is I was almost able to survive with just two, doing the duo, just two Garchomps. Now, I'm a little rusty on my dodging. I wasn't necessarily being lazy about it, but I wasn't on my A game. It was a comfortable duo and I just didn't do the best dodging that I could possibly do. Uh, what I'm trying to get at here is, okay, two Garchomps were able to do that. Imagine what a Mega Garchomp could do. If these are the stats that are going to be implemented when Mega Evolutions come out, then you got to be kidding me. They're going to be able to just wreck havoc. All right, so moving on to Rayquaza here, it's going to have a max EP of 5,066. Stamina 213, attack 354, and defense 197. All right, so this is uh, <laughs> this is going to be a good one too. We already know Rayquaza is just a magnificent Pokemon as it is right now. And since we do have Elite TMs, whenever it does get a signature move, we're going to be able to Elite TM those if you so choose to. And just can't wait for that shiny Mega Rayquaza. All of the Mega Evolutions in their shiny form are going to be great. So... Yeah, this is going to be some crazy stuff here. Do you think that they're actually going to let these stats stay? Or are they going to get a nerf? These have already had their nerf applied. So this is what we could potentially look forward to. But here's the thing. We just don't know exactly how they're going to implement it. We don't know the duration of how long you're going to be able to stay Mega Evolution. So say you go into a raid and you Mega Evolve, and I'm gonna tell you this right now, I, you're not gonna be able to Mega Evolve with multiple Pokemon. I mean, you never know, Niantic could switch it up, but more than likely, you're gonna only be able to do it with one Pokemon at a time. As we've, we've discussed in the past, that it is gonna probably be connected with Best Buddies. You can only have one Best Buddy equipped, and I do believe that that is going to be your Pokemon that is gonna be able to Mega Evolve once you do get it to Best Buddy. Now, as we do take a look at these duos here, I'm just going to continue on and talk about how I do think that this is going to be implemented because it's fun speculating this kind of stuff. And I want to make sure you all are prepared because getting a Pokemon to Best Buddy does take some time and say Mega Evolutions do come around and you don't have, you know, several of the ones that are released uh, at Best Buddy and you're going to have to take all that time. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the ones that may be released first, potentially the Kanto starters, Bulbasaur, Venusaur, and Charmander. Obviously, they're fully evolved forms. So maybe you want to start working on those. And of course, with their community day moves, because I do not think that their moves are going to change upon a mega evolving. Their stats are just going to be bumped up, as well as a visual change to their mega form. So pretty awesome stuff. Now, going back to uh, the best buddy and how I was talking about in my last video, uh, how you're going to maybe, my theory on maybe having it completely maxed out. I don't think that that is going to necessarily be true. I think it's going to be more so revolving around the best buddy uh, feature. All right. So I do also think that they've been building up this moment for a long time with the buddy system, as well as multiple community day Pokemon like Ampharos, like we've always been talking about right now, if they did have to be level 40, that is going to require trainers to reach the max level. Well, level 38 is where you can actually uh, completely max out your Pokemon. So that is where you're going to be potentially able to get Mega Evolutions once you reach that level. But that is just a theory and I'm not really leaning on it too much. Just want to throw it out, out ideas. Uh, but what I do believe is pretty solid is it's going to be revolving around the Best Buddy deal. So I've been working on it and been working on my starters as well as Blaziken. Really can't wait for that one. This Mega Evolution is going to be awesome. Need to start working on my 100 Rayquaza a little bit more. I already have my best buddy Garchomp as well as many other uh, Pokemon that are actually best buddies that are going to have Mega Evolutions because I've been slowly preparing as we've been talking about this oh, five months ago. So <laughs> uh, this is going to be something else. Now, let's see here. PvP. 
I know the concerns. It's going to be broken, right? There's no way. There's no way Mega Evolutions can just be thrown into the current situation uh, that we do have and not break the system and just completely run over other Pokemon. Uh, so how how is this going to go about? Well, now this is not my idea. This is taking it from a few of your uh, comments from my last video. Now let's go ahead and go over this. Potentially, they're going to open up a new league, Mega League. All right, that's... That's what you are all saying, and I think that could potentially be something, but I don't think they're going to open up a whole new league just for the Megas. They're going to probably limit you to having them into their Mega form for probably like, I don't know, several seconds. I'm not talking, uh, maybe somewhere around 30 seconds in PvP. Maybe this might be the case. Now, if you're thinking, well, okay, we can only stay Megas for a few seconds in, in PvP. Well, what about raids? Same concept, but a little bit longer. These are just ideas here. Now, if you're also thinking, well, okay, great. I'm not really into PvP and I do raids, you know, I'm, you know Mega Evolutions are gonna help me out. But what I'm really looking forward to is having my Mega Evolution walk around with me on the map and just staying in that form. Do you think that that's actually gonna happen? I would love to see that, honestly. But the thing is, Mega Evolutions are not meant to stay in their Mega Forms. They're supposed to just go into that form for a short amount of time for that battle, and then afterwards they go back to the regular form, right? That's how it works in the main series games. But you never know with Niantic, we'll have to see. So from going up against these Zekroms here, you can see the performance of Garchomp and Rayquaza just absolutely dominating. Garchomp with that amazing typing being dragon and ground has a massive resistance to electric types. So it's just going to be able to stay in that fight up against Zekrom and just put in work. Now this was all going to be under windy weather of course and you'd ne you can't necessarily do it without that weather boost with these Pokemon right? Maybe if you had a bunch of maxed out Rayquazas like two teams on both ends for each trainer and then a very quick re-lobby without going up against a dragon move itself, then it might be possible. But nonetheless, the performance from Garchomp and Rayquaza is undeniable, obviously. And yes, I went ahead and made another Garchomp here. And I'm very, I don't know, I, I don't really tend to like to power up a bunch of pseudo legendaries that I know are going to get a community day in the future. I already did Metagross and made a ton of those, a full team plus, because, well, we had Meteor Mash on it and I powered them up with it. Garchomp. Still yet to get a community day, and obviously it is going to get a community day. And Niantic knows this is the most anticipated community day that everybody is waiting for. How many times can I say community day? All right, so I just went ahead and made one scene that we do have the elite TMs. It is going to be a 98%, and it's well worth it. I'm happy I did that because now I'm able to take out these uh, Zekroms when it has that double electric type move, the massive resistance. It's just so beautiful. It just sits there and laughs at the wild charges that it does throw at the Garchomp and it doesn't really do much damage. And if you're dodging, you're going to be doing so much more as we see it in the beginning. So can't wait. These two Mega Evolutions are going to be absolutely phenomenal. And I'm just going to urge you to potentially start walking these and getting them to Best Buddy, as well as several other Mega Evolutions that we're going to be going over in the future as well. And I will reference a few videos that I did go over for you to potentially start uh, getting ready for these Mega Evolutions. We did make that like about five months ago, right? So you can start preparing yourself because like we said, um, it is going to take quite a while to get to Best Buddy. And if they do get released and you don't have a Best Buddy, no Mega Evolution. But let's step away from that for just a moment before this video does end. What if you don't need Best Buddy, right? Okay, well, let's just move away. What if you just need the Mega Stone and maybe a certain amount of candies? We've also discussed this as well as... Uh, well as you uh, commenting this in my last video too. Yeah, that is absolutely a possibility for these uh, Mega Evolutions to require a stone and also take a ton of candies to evolve them. Now, what if it takes, let's, let's just go over this. This is actually a pretty good concept, which nobody was really talking about this one here. Yes, requires candies, but at the same time, it is gonna take a ton. Let's just say 150 to Mega Evolve. So basically, you can Mega Evolve every single raid battle if you want, and in PvP, but it's gonna take your candies every time you do this. So basically, you're just gonna get limited to how much you can Mega Evolve and really pick and choose when you want to do it. 
because yes, we have a ton of candies for some Pokemon, but some others we simply don't like, say a Garchomp or a Rayquaza. 150 candies each time you Mega Evolve or whatever X amount of number, that's going to put a damper and eventually limit you. So there's just a few more thoughts, trainers. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go. Thank you for watching and take care.